The other day I had uploaded a video called Finding and Collecting Pine Sap the Easy Way. And in that video I had mentioned that the pine sap I collected needs to be cleaned out. So right here in this jar I have all the pine sap that I had collected that day. And as you guys can see, let me get a light in there. As you guys can see, it's pretty dirty. It's got a lot of dirt, debris, and uh, pine needles and bark and things like that in it. So we're, what we're going to do is today we're going to clean this out. Now the very first thing to do whenever you're going to clean out your pine sap or your pine pitch or your pine resin, whatever you like to call it, is to just get out a pan. I like to use a nonstick Teflon pan, though it doesn't really keep the pitch from sticking whenever it dries out. As you can see here, it's stuck on there pretty good. But that's okay that I've got a little bit in here. All we need to do is just simply take our sap that we have collected and place it inside of the pan. And I'm going to start out with two chunks right now. And then I'm just going to turn the burner on to medium. Once this gets hot and it's going to heat up a little bit, all this stuff inside is going to be a lot easier to pull out. Now as our pine pitch is melting, I find it easiest to go ahead and pick out a couple of the twigs and branches and any of the debris that you can easily pick out with your fingers before they're going to get sticky. Now once the pine pitch really starts to get heated up, I find it best to use a nitrile glove. This really helps to keep your hands from getting all sticky so you don't have to use a whole bunch of rubbing alcohol to get this off. Now you're going to see the pan start to smoke a little bit and that's completely natural. However, we want to keep an eye on it because this stuff is highly flammable. So make sure you're keeping an eye on it and kind of lifting it up off of the heat a little bit. Because we want to be able to melt this down nice and slow so that way we can pick out all of the stuff inside. Now as we can see, the pine pitch is starting to get nice and soft here whenever I push it down. And it's about time to start picking some of the stuff out of it. And what I like to have ready whenever I'm picking the stuff out of the pine sap is just a paper towel and a pair of tweezers to help me pick out the fine stuff. So that way I don't burn my hands or burn the glove while I'm picking out the debris from this sap. Now I'm going to turn the burner off so that way I don't continue to add more heat to this process because it's getting a little too hot for my comfortability. As you guys can see right here is all of the stuff that I picked out of just that little section. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and then I'll get back to you guys. There's all the stuff that we got out of it. As you can see, it's extremely easy to do. So I thank all of you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.